Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss multi-tape Turing machine. So up to now, we had discussed only single tape Turing machine. Then what is the multi-tape Turing machine? Simply a Turing machine which consists of multiple tapes to store the input. And we already discussed in the church Turing thesis. Single tape Turing machine have same power to multi-tape Turing machine. Now the thing is, we have to prove. That means to decide both the Turing machines have same power. How do we decide? Simply design a Turing machine of single tape. That is construct or design a single tape Turing machine for the given multi-tape Turing machine. That is, if I am given the multi-tape, you have to convert into a single tape and it also performs the same task in a simple terms. The languages recognized by multi-tape Turing mission is equal to the languages recognized by single tape Turing mission. If both recognizes the same set of languages, that means both have same power. This is my theorem. What is my theorem? So my theorem is simply every multi-tape Turing machine has an equivalent single tape. Remember the thing already discussed. So here equivalent in the sense, not in terms of speed, in terms of speed that performs the exactly the same task that is the same things are recognized by multi tape and single tape first of all you have to know before implementing the single tape turing machine you have to know how do we represent a multi tape turing machine that is the most important thing i am moving to this one and we know already the transition that is seven tuple representation so in this, the only difference in the transition Q stack symbols that is input alphabets K. K represents the number of tapes Q. So left, right and stay on the same position K. So everything is same in the single tape. The only difference in the single tape and multi tape is K. K represents the number of tapes. Assume this is tape one. Some A, B, A, B, A, blank, and so on. Tape one. Suppose tape two, zero, one, zero, one, blank symbol, and so on, whatever it is. Tape three, consider any numbers. Suppose Y, X, X, Y, blank and so on for example this is called tape one this is a tape two this is tape three this is the final state mission and from this mission each and every tape contains some tape heads for example here the tape head points to this position assume the tape head points to this position in this case the tape head points to this position assume these are the three tapes with the three Head positions. How do we write the thing in a single tape? The important thing is how do we convert the multi tape into a single tape? Simply assume this is the single tape Turing mission. You have to remember some points. What are the points? Each and every tape is written in a single tape. All the tapes are separated by using hash symbol. The first most important thing is hash symbol. That is, in the first cell, you are writing hash followed by A, B, A, B, A. So, tape 1 is completed. After completion of tape 1, again, you have to write hash 0, 1, 0, 1. Write down hash Y, X, X y and blank and so on this is the first step so the conversion 
each and every tape is separated by using hash symbol and the second thing is use dot operator to show where the head is to show where the head is here in tape one this is the head position tape one this is the head position that is the third cell in the first tape so here this is represented by using dot that is the dot represents the head of the tape assume here this is the top this is the head in this this zero in this the second symbol this dot okay once once you fix this one what is your next step you have to simulate a transition from state queue assume you are right now at state queue we have to simulate a transition from state queue what is the thing we have to scan the tape we have to scan all the tapes or in this we have to scan the tapes the symbols that are present under under the k tape heads that is we have to consider all the heads we have to consider all the heads for example q is one state s is another state what is the thing q is one state s is another state you have to consider all the tape heads a from tape 1 0 from tape 2 x from tape 3 this is traverse to that is if a if you required a is converted into b that is if whenever a occurred that a is replaced with b zero assume zero is replaced with one x x is replaced with some y that is what is the meaning of this one in the next step this a in the next step this a is converted into b you got it this is the thing a is converted into b then zero zero is converted into y that is this is converted into y this is the thing next x is converted into y this is y now what you required so input is completed output replacement is completed along with this we have required one more thing what is the thing the direction for example l l or whatever it is that means a is replaced with b a is replaced with b and move to the left side the first one belongs to this one now the head is at this position zero is replaced with one and move to the left side now this is the head of the top this is the head now x is replaced with y move to right side now this is tape head this way we are simulating the transition that is whatever we are performing in the multi tape the same thing we have performed in the single tape suppose that is what is the meaning once we determine this and if you ready to make a transition simply we have to scan across the entire tape and again to update the cell and move the dots we have to update each and every cell and we have to move the dots and the final point is whenever the head moves off to the right end whenever the head moves off to the right end what is the meaning of this one for example assume like this here this one instead of this one if i am writing right side curse move to this position suppose in the next iteration it have moved to right side but right side there is no thing in this case what did you do? you got the point whenever the head moves to the right end suppose if the right end there is no blank symbol that is the end of tape 2 in this case what to do simply perform shift operation we must shift our entire tape and we can insert a blank symbol that is here we can insert a blank symbol okay this is the multi tape turing mission multi tape turing mission here remember what you required multiple number of tapes each tape contains some information we can easily write a multiple tapes in a single transition or a single tape by using this notation based on this you can prove that 
both have same equal power multi tape and single tape both have same expressive power thank you